Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Barbecue Shotgun Shells. Today we're cooking up a highly requested recipe from you guys. It's barbecue shotgun shells. Now, if you're not familiar with this barbecue phenomenon, it's essentially a tube of manicotti pasta that's stuffed with whatever kind of meats and cheeses you can come up with, wrapped in bacon, cooked on the smoker, and then glazed in barbecue sauce. Pretty great party treat and really honestly just an all around fun recipe. So typically you're gonna see these shotgun shells stuffed with either ground beef or sausage. We're actually gonna do a couple different meats today. We're gonna to do uh, this smoked sausage, this is the, our Hillsdale smoked sausage, a local smoked sausage. It's, it's still raw, but it is smoked. Uh, and then we're gonna team that up with our pulled pork from our Chipotle pulled pork video that just recently released. You guys can go check that out. But I just want the inside, I don't want the casing. So what I'm gonna do here is just open this up and scrape out the insides. And we're gonna get one pound of smoked sausage into the mix. So you got your pound of smoked sausage. We're gonna add to that one cup of pulled pork that is cooked. The sausage is gonna cook inside the, the manicotti. And then we're gonna add one cup of cheddar cheeses. We've got a few different cheeses in here. There's a smoked white cheddar, a sharp cheddar, and a smoked sriracha cheddar. And then lastly, I'm gonna add in uh, some roasted green chilies. I'm just doing the canned kind, but Man, this one brand, it's got great flavor. These are hatch chilies. And then mix it all up until it's pretty well distributed. And this is the mixture we're gonna stuff into our manicotti. So now step two of a really simple three-step process. We've already made our filling. Now we're gonna stuff our manicotti pasta. And then lastly, we're gonna wrap it in bacon. And now if you're not familiar with manicotti, you can see now why they call these things shotgun shells. They're kind of shaped like them. So this is a little bit time consuming, but it's really not difficult. So grab a buddy to help you stuff these. I'll just go at it all from one side. That way I know that it's 100% full. You can press out any air bubbles in there. So once it hits your hand on the other end, just gonna stuff a little bit more in. Make sure we press out any air bubbles, but don't push too hard. I have cracked these open doing it this way. And that's it for that step. Now I've seen some people that like to par cook their pasta. Um, for me, it's just too much of a risk that you're gonna split it open, which again, you are gonna wrap it in bacon, so you can kind of save that. You're just making more work for yourself. Uh, the technique I prefer to use is to stuff these the night before you wanna use them. Because when they sit with the filling in them all night long, it hydrates this shell and it'll soften by the morning. So when it's got that filling inside and the bacon from the outside it's kind of hydrating from both sides and it just needs to rest for a while so I'll do these a day before so now step three wrapping bacon I like to just drape it over the top and start rolling all the way down to the other end that's it it'll stay in there on its own it'll stay in place no need to pin anything so this is the point in the process where you're gonna to wanna to throw these into the refrigerator overnight. Just throw some plastic wrap on them and give them time for those shells to soften up. So you can see now with that overnight rest, totally pliable, so that pasta is softened up, which means we're ready to season these and get them onto the smoker. So for the seasoning today, we're using Yoder Smokers Pork Rub. It's a great all around barbecue rub. You're gonna hit it on all sides with just a light coating. We don't wanna overdo it because of course there's already plenty of salt going on in here. And then we're going to transfer these over to a wire rack just because it's easier to move them all at once rather than individually place them onto the smoker. All right, let's head to the smoker. Now today we're cooking on the Yoder Smokers YS640S pellet grill. It's running at 250 degrees with hickory pellets. So these are gonna go second shelf. We're gonna give them half an hour and then a spin and then about half an hour more. So here's the hour update. We did give this a spin at half an hour. It's been another half hour. Uh, the target temperature inside, it's, it's surpassed the minimum of what we need of 165, but that's not quite as important as what's going on in the outside, the texture of the bacon. 
we want to make sure this is rendered and has a little bit of texture on it. And we're not quite there yet, so we're just going to let it ride a little bit longer. We're right around an hour and a half now, guys, and these are looking really good. Got some great texture going on on the outside. They're definitely rendered out, so you're not going to have like chewy bacon. It should be bite through. So at this point, we're ready to go ahead and hit these with some barbecue sauce to finish off. And we are using Meet Mitch's Whoop sauce today. Just a fantastic Kansas City barbecue sauce. We're just gonna paint the tops and the sides of each one of these. And then it's not gonna take long, but we'll probably give it, oh, a good 10 minutes or so for that sauce to kind of tack up on the outside. Sauce is looking good on there. Let's pull them off and get a taste. All right, let's get a bite. Mmm. Get that sweetness off the sauce right away, but immediately balanced by that salty smokiness of three different types of pork. Between that sausage, the pulled pork, and the bacon wrapped around it. And then the manicotti has great structure to it. It's got a nice, just little bit of chew, nice bite, kind of provides some structure and a little bit of texture. That's a really fun snack. Mmm. Show up with these at your next barbecue, you'll be a hero. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you wanna see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.